We're going to solve this game theory payoff matrix. Uh, we've got player one with strategies of A and B, player two with strategies of X and Y. Uh, player one says when player two does X, what's better for us? And that's the first number here. So we're going to highlight that. It's better for player one to do A when player one, player two does X. Then on over here, when player two does Y, what's better for player one? And that's to do uh, B and get 50. Player one does not have a dominant strategy. Now we're going to go over to player two's options. They read those horizontally. So when player one does A, what's better for player two? And that would be to do X. And then when player one does B, what's better for player two? And that's to do Y. Player two does not have a dominant strategy either. We actually end up with two Nash equilibria. We end up with a Nash equilibria here and a Nash equilibrium here. So those are the two Nash equilibrium. And player one would be willing to uh, pay player two to get down here. So if they were able to collude, all it would take is uh, player one paying player two at least three because that's the value of their best option here. So they just need to pay them three and a little bit more and that would get them down here. That would be better for player one and player two and that would be the collusive outcome.